Hello and welcome to our webinar about batches in Schikal. My name is Matthias Hof and I'd like to show you the following things in the next couple of minutes. First, I will show you um, where you can find the function batches in the Project Explorer. Um, please note that batches are only available when you are using Schikal Advanced or Schikal Enterprise. Um, the second step is about items with variable numbers. And point three is um, on, about how to create different batches with um, the items from uh, point number two. So I will switch to my Shukal now. And here you can find um, three projects which are out of our basic training for Shukal. And, um, the only thing I did is I changed the numbers of a few items within these projects. For instance, here, position number three, there are 20 number uh, of this specific windows. On the left side, right below the menu uh, projects, you can find the batches function. I click on it. And here, you can uh, create folders as you can do within the projects or you can uh, create a new batch directly um, on uh, in, in the root folder. I'm doing this right now. I give it a name, for example, batch one. Then I can double click on this and the first thing I can do here is I change the date of completion. Let's say we want to have this done by middle of April. Now, like in a regular project, I can add items here. For batch one, I want to have position number one. And here I now, I can now um, say how many items of position number one, how many numbers I want to process in batch number one. We have a total of three. I only want to have two within this batch. Here, right below um, the description of the position, you can see that we have now two of three items in total within this batch. Add another item. Again, project number one, position, position number three, total of 20. I only want to have 12 of them. Here in the, in the list on the left side, you can see how many items are still open. So from position number three, we have now from the 20, 20 items in total, we have still eight items open because we only process 12 of them in this batch. I continue with adding uh, other positions. Let's say position four. And the last one is the position eight in project number three. Same thing here. I don't want to have five of them, only three. I cannot close this batch. And uh, here you can find the overview about it. Of course, I can edit the different positions now or delete it if I edit something which I don't want to have in this batch. Um, but I will continue by creating a second one. 
create new batch, batch number two. Double click, change the date for the completion. This should be done end of April 29th. And here again, I can add the different items. Second one, item number three, and the last one, number eight. So now on the left side, where you can find the, the list of the different positions, you can now easily check if you have everything done in either batch one or batch two. For example here, when we have a look at position one, there are zero items open. There is one position, uh, one, one number of this position in batch number two, and um, there are two numbers of this position in batch number one. Of course, you can still edit these numbers, if I enter, let's say, four here, then you can see that you get a message that this entry must lie between one and two because you have only five number of position eight in total. Close this batch. Of course, as you can do it with any project. You can generate uh, the different output lists by selecting the, the batch. Click output and then let's say we want to have a quantity list. You can edit the output options. And then after finding the message list, you can switch to, just give it another second, you can switch to the quantity list. So that's it for the batches. Last thing I want to say is thank you. I hope you enjoyed our webinar and hear from each other soon. Goodbye.